something um, I need to cover in this particular class. Like I said, to, to, today we'll be looking at um, support and resistance, and then we'll be looking at demand and supply zone. So let me take that again, so, uh, support and resistance, and then demand and supply zone. So let me start with um, the zone thing. Let me start with demand and supply zone. So um, before we look at the chart, let's look at the what I love to call the test book um, images of demand and supply zones. Now, what are zones? You know, we already um, explain what what zone or region is so so it's just more like we are talking in terms of synonyms we can call it region we can call it zone but what it means is is a range of price where price can get to turn back where we are expecting some reaction in the market so so that's an example of uh, zone so let me um let me share my page with you so you can you can look at what i'm looking at so now i believe you can see this so i want us to see the um the, what i love to call textbook images um i'm currently on google page so i just wanted to see this so that we can get familiar with that so what we have at the top is supply zone all the way at the bottom is the demand zone now that is not the major thing i need you to master what i need you to master is the fact that now look at why um look at how it was drawn now look at you know when we're talking about how many touch makes a a, a region <clears throat> or a point or a level or a zone a key level or so you know i said which two you have but with three, you confirm. Look at this one, two, three. One, two, three. Look at this also, one, two, three. Now, meaning that if you are trading, all you need to target. Once you get here, you are looking for a way to sell. And once you get here, you're looking for a way to buy. So you can stay on this same pair and make as much money as possible. If you are patient and you know what you are trading. Now, I also want you to see something on this particular image. They said stop um, for short position. Someone want to ask what is the meaning of that? Now, if you are selling, you know, you have a take profit and you have your stop loss. So it's telling you that you should put your stop loss above the zone. That is what it means. And if you are buying long position, put your stop loss below the zone. And what does that mean? Let me quickly explain what that means literally it means that if price for example let me take this an example if you put your stop loss here it means that if price go beyond your zone and probably move to the upside to take out your stop loss it means that now so much so that yeah i mean it means that price has refused to go your way which is saying that price was going to sell back to the demand zone price has gone ahead to form a new high that is probably going to continue going up so in that sense if you see something very bullish now you are talking your sentiment your market sentiment should change from bearish to bullish so what is bearish what is bullish bullish means you price will go up bearish means price will go down so if price takes out your stop loss now and continue going up that's bullish and then that means if you can see that early enough you can still make profit by buying this market to the top but then the challenge most trader have is that once we make um once we once we make a sentiment we stay on it even if it is not even if market is not honoring it for example meaning that we say this is going to fall and then it breaks here and keep going, but we are still saying it must fall. Not because the market is showing that it must fall, but because we believe, because we have said it must fall, our hair goes blazing, and then people start selling and still losing money and still selling 
it was, and then the market keep taking out your stop loss. That that is one scenario. Another scenario is that price around this place, a news can come out, and the price will quickly go up, even though it is still going to sell. Quickly go up, take out your stop loss, and then come back down. That happens a lot of time also, and that's why at times when I when I take a trade. It takes and then you see it takes out my stop loss and I enter again. I'm not entering again because I'm egoistic about it. It's because I see, see that the setup is still valid. The setup is still valid. So if the setup is still valid, why not go again and then you know take your profit? But then if you see clearly that this setup is no longer valid, market has taken out the market structure. You know, price has taken out the market structure, it's creating a, a, a higher high instead of creating a lower high, you know, what is that high, what is lower what, what is lower high, don't worry. We are going to discuss that in the next class. So I just wanted to see, normally I shouldn't have even mentioned the stop loss part. What I'm supposed to focus on tonight is the zones. So, so the truth is that, let me also drop this at this point before I forget. If you can master this alone. Now, if, I don't know if you've seen people saying that they, they are, they are um, swing traders. Now, if you can master this alone, you can make money without having to open your chart every five minutes. That is the truth. You see a clear zone and you sell it. And then you are patient enough, maybe it takes a whole week or three days before you, go to the, before you get to the next, next zone. Or maybe it goes down, you've made $500 and then it trades, and the $500 became $100, and then you didn't quickly jump out. You waited and it continued continue as you touch the next zone now what thing that is very important in this in this market in this business in this queue is patience patience is very very important now that said let me also show you another example of a, of, of, of this thing that we are talking about um, okay let me see this let's see you know look at this this is the supply zone this is a demand zone now look at this Instead of demand zone pushing the market up to another supply zone again, what did we see happen? We saw that it went up a little bit and then fell like water, and then we tested it. Now, let me just mention this in passing, even though we are going to talk about it extensively when we get to all of that. Now, if a zone is going to be broken, it does not just break and continue. Because it's a key level in the market, it must be retested. So, for example, most traders will say, "Ah, this 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 zone has been broken," and then they will they will enter a sell here and say, "Ah, it's not going up again. It's going down." Yes, I accept it's going down. Where do you need to enter? Not here. You need to wait for it to retest that zone. If it is a key level, ninety-seven percent of the time it will retest. If it is a key level, if it's a true key level, it will retest that zone. Or that place or that key level or that support whatever it is that you have if it's a key level it has to retest it before you can now so someone like me will wait for a retest and sell it exactly from here and then my stop loss would not even with the price would not even go close to my stop loss at all and it will just eat your money downwards here but if you let's say you sold here by the time price you know it went there it will be the yeah i'm in profit i'm in profit and then Price go all the way up again, took out your stop loss, um, depending on how many pip stop loss you're using, and it takes it out and say, ah, this thing takes out my, you know, most likely you probably have taken out your stop loss from here again, you know, you, you thought it was gonna go up, so you set your stop loss somewhere here, and then market went up, you didn't take profit, or you were waiting for it to go out your, and then it broke it down, it broke the zone down, took out your stop loss, when uh, you sold again and said, ah, Market has changed, sentiment has changed, and then went up again, took out and said, ah, what is now happening? I think uh, um, something is happening. I don't get what is happening. People get it, the people get you know, all of that. So it's just simple um, understanding of how markets move. So um, let me look for something else that can be useful. Okay, let me see this. Now, like I said, Supply to demand, demand to supply, supply to demand, demand to supply, broken, retested, continue. I'm sure you understand that as short 
and as simple as I, you know, said it. So let me also show this. Um, okay, there's really nothing much to show here. Let's do so something else. Okay, these are zones, you know. Let me um, see if I can. Okay, look at this. Supply, demand, supply to demand, demand, then this one got broken straight, but it's coming down to be test that region again. Like I said, it will always be test most of the time before it continues the journey. So you can, you know, you can. So now let me give, you know, this from here to here, and then market went all the way down. Like I said, it can happen that market will go down and you would think it has broken the region. But alas, it's not just being broken. It's just that there are some, there could be news, it could be anything that drove the price down. That is the, the BS. BS are people that want to push, that want the price to keep going down. The BS didn't give up. They didn't give up easily. That's why price went this low before the bulls came into the market and pushed the price. And you can see even after pushing the price back, hope, it didn't just continue like that. It still came to retest that zone. So now if you are skeptical of, of where to buy, because now the best place to buy this kind of market is here. You won't even need a stop loss, but then it's dangerous because you are not sure if it has been broken or, or, or it is gonna still go up. So let's say you didn't take the price, the trade. So the next, the next best place is to wait for a retest and then trade it up. That's it. That's it. Look at what happened again. Price pushed all the way, and then you know, and then look at this. Look at that thin line, and then so all of these things happen. One thing you need to know is you need to understand that these things do not, you know. Market is not by any chance um, under any pressure to obey anybody. Market will do what it will do. You just have to understand how to, you don't have to know how to understand the market movement. That's all you need to know, to understand the market movement. Look at what I told you. You know, supply to demand, demand to supply, broken, retested. So, so now the truth is the demand that was broken will soon become a supply and the supply that was broken will soon become the demand so there's no zone that we hold forever it will one day be broken that's what that's one thing we need to know so that said i think you know has been said concerning that already let me go to the to our chat and then let's um let's show live example and let's see how we can move from there how we can move from there so let's see how we can move from there. So now, while I was waiting for you in class, I already drew these lines. So one thing I need you to also know is that you always have major zones and minor zones. You need to understand that. So in this example, we can say this and these are the major zones and this is the minor zone. So now this is the supply, this is the demand and all of that. So the names are not really what is important. What is important is to know what happens when price touch there and know what to do. Now from what the example we've seen on Google that I showed you on the, on the images, what do you think will likely happen at this point, with what is happening currently, I need you, I need your answers. Now, market has been respecting this area. You can see market touch it, even though it didn't fully touch it, but then respected it went up, went up, went up. So, what do you think is likely going to happen? I'm waiting for your response. At least what we can see here. To get up and then you know, price coming down again.
okay it will likely go up yes it's going up a little bit already but then um it's likely based on what we've thought so far it will likely go up. but then don't be surprised if this zone gets broken and uh, and then the reason for that i don't know if i should share it in this video if it's not going to confuse everything i've taught you before and that's one thing about this whole thing the, the, the more understanding you have of the market, the more you know when to use the rule, when to use a particular rule. Now, while I was showing you price went up, came down, price went up, came down, I saw something different again. Now, what is, this, what is it that I saw? Now, I can explain it in two ways. I can explain it in a technical way, and I can explain it in a um, realistic way, or I don't know which English to call that. Now, the, the technical way is that, look at this. If I draw, okay, sorry, I'm picking the wrong, the wrong tool. Look at this. If I draw a, 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 a trend line here, even though we, are, we, are, we, are, we have not done that yet, but you know, I, I hope we'll be able to do that in this class. If I draw a trend line here, you see that price is descending. Now, that is one. If you know what that means, it means the trend is downward. And if you look at our EMA also, the um, exponential moving average, is above the price, the price is downward. Now, how do I know where the price, how do I know uh, what is EMA, what is moving averages and what are they used for? Somebody will ask the question, I will, I will explain them, I will explain that particular question tonight also. But let me quickly answer this particular thing in one. Now, what did I notice? What I noticed is this. Look at this example. The bulls took the price up and then sellers, decided to start buying from here. The next time the bulls took it up, sellers bought it lower. So that means sellers, um, sellers sold it cheaper. So desire, cheaper, cheaper, cheaper. So sellers are coming in at a descending price. Meaning that the sellers have more power in this market. Now, so if sellers came in at this price, came in at a lower price, came in at a lower price, came in at a lower price. Now, and then now, this thing line means that seller already came in at another lower price. So what we most likely see after market open, price can still go up a little bit, but might never, might not go as high as this before it falls and break it is up. But let's see what happened. This is USD CAD. By next week, Sunday or Saturday, when we're doing another class, remind me and we'll check your prices and see if it was broken or respected. And then we can learn and see what happened and see, be able to, like, like I said earlier in previous classes, all of these candlesticks are storytellers. They are telling you what happened. So by the time we review these particular charts in another week, we'll be able to see what has happened and the lessons we can learn from it. So, but then you are right, based on what I've said, it's, a, so it's supposed to you know, go up because the zone is supposed to bounce it up and all of that. So that is that about so let's see if I, we can quickly pick another example so that I can move to the next thing. I hope you understand what I've thought about zone so far already. I hope you understand. I just want to be sure you do. So drop, um, if, you, if you understand, let me know. If you understand, let me know, please. Please, at any point in time, if this class closes, just join again, please. So, you know, you can always have. So, if you, if, like, as you can see, you know that this is where price is coming. That is what it means. But then, does that mean you just enter the market blindly and sell? No. You need to know. You need to know exactly when to sell. You need to know exactly when to sell. But from what we just drew here, you know that price is coming here. And if price break this place, the next place will probably come in is um, here. Though there are tools to help you on, to help you do this. There, are, we call them indicators. But before. 
they, they are called custom indicators. But before you start using all of those things, you need to understand how to do this yourself so that you can understand them better. So now, any question on this? Okay, I think there are questions waiting for me. Okay, if you, you don't understand very well. Now, let me, let me take a simpler, uh, a simpler look at it. Now look at this. You can see that price touched here, went up, touched here, went up, touched here, went up. So what we're gonna just do is create, uh, insert a shape, a rectangle, and then pick those place and draw it out. Such that it covers the, you know, and then meaning that this is, this is, our demand zone. When price touches it, it goes up. So all we need to do is, we need to draw it to the current market price, the real prices at the moment. I'm just going over the explanation so that um, even when you watch the video again, you can understand better. So that's what it means. It's a simple thing, but then you'll get to master and understand it better by use that is what i've learned in this market it is by practice that you get better it's not even by reading it is by practice you can read everything you have and still not understand it is by practice that you understand better and that's why almost every week after a, after a week of trading i still come back to all of the trade i take or probably to bring the week to to review them and see what i could do better what you know all of that now, from this now, from this particular chart we are looking at, you know, this is, this is a very obvious zone. This is very obvious. Price touched it, came down, touched it, came down, then touched it, and it's coming down again. This is a very double touch, and it's coming down again. So you know that, you know, obviously price is going down. Obviously price is going down. So it is, it is really that simple, really that simple. And then where is price going? Now, from what I can see on a long term basis, here we are. So price is likely falling to this place. Of course, there are levels that will challenge the price along the way. But then ultimately, this is the zone that is visibly low, um, the lowest zone visible on this chart. The price, will. so price. So that's it. That's that. Of course, price can get rejected by a zone and then come back and break this zone. But if this trend continues downwards, it's going to come to this zone. So if this class ends, I'm going to drop another link and we continue. So um, I want us to I want us to do support and resistance tonight also, so that I will know that I'm moving to a new topic next week. So um, let me just do this. Let me not allow this class to to end um, without. Okay, I'm looking at how to get this done, but it's okay. So just drop all your questions. If I cannot answer them on this video, I will answer them in the chat. Drop all your question, please. So I'm seeing another zone again, but I just I, I just want to uh, move to the next topic. So the more you the more you work on these things, the more the easier for you to recognize them on charts, you know, and then be able to profit from there. Because that is the most important thing. Profiting from them is the most important thing. Profiting from them is the most important thing. There's nothing, there's nothing good about knowing, knowing where prices or price or where price will be, and not be able to make money from it. There's nothing interesting about that. So, so that's that about zones. That's about zones. And then on my YouTube channel, there's another video, maybe one or two on zones that you can also watch to get better at drawing your zones. 
And then same thing with support and resistance. Um, so support and resistance, the difference between zones and support and resistance is just simple. While we are drawing this in terms of a tango colored with blue or whatever color you want to put it, support and resistance is just going to be line. So the one at the top is what we call the support, and the one at the, at the bottom is what we call the resistance. Uh, the one at the, uh, at the top is what we call the resistance, and the one at the bottom is what we call the support. Just like this is the supply, this is the demand. So if it's just lines, we we'll say this is the resistance, this is the what? The support. So what does resistance does? It send price. It send price back down. That is the resist price. And what does support does? Support stop price from going down. That is it pushed price back up. So that is um, basically what support and resistance is. You can see that we are still talking around the same thing. Key level zones support and resistance. I just want you to know that all of these things are the same thing. It depends on how you see them. And then what is important is profiting from them. Either you draw a line or you draw a big um, zoom um, with colored, whatever it is, you color it purple, pink. It's, it's not the most important thing. Know that either it's a line or it's, it's, a, it's a wide rectangle. Know that you're expecting price to, to return or react at that level. And then not necessarily to, to come down or go up. It might be broken, it might be respected, but knowing what to knowing how to interpret what is being done by the market is the most important thing. That is the most in fact, that is the only thing, not even the most important. That is the only this is the trade I've been on for a while. I mean, since last week. I just decided to hold, I could have taken profit and probably move out, but I just said that I'm gonna um um, I'm going to um, hold this market because I believe that we is going to fall a little bit lower than this. So now look at this line. If you can see this line very well, this is where market turned here, turned here. Now none of the price have not pushed above this line for a long time. The last time price pushed above it is this particular place, and it's a long time if you count it. So this is this is supposed to be my entry point, but I entered earlier than that. But look at my stop loss. My stop loss is above that region. And the reason you're looking at see if it's closer to it is because we are on a daily, um, daily uh, time frame. If we go to one hour or 30 minutes, you will see that it's a little bit far from it. So that is that. So the same thing I've taught you tonight is what I used to enter this trade. So you already know enough to start taking trade. Thank God it's a demo account. You have nothing to lose. But explore and let things happen. This week we are going to enter explore. You have if um market is going to have open tonight, you have a whole week to practice. And the next week we would have a fantastic time again to, to learn. So, so do you buy when price is going or going down and sell price is going up? Exactly. Once you show that price is going, price is going to fall, 